What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be talking about circlets and the gambling, or the coronets, I should say, that I have gambled. So I went ahead and gambled a thousand coronets. I think this took me uh, about 90 million gold. Well, let's see, actually, a thousand coronets would be 110 million gold or 109 million gold with, the, with that. Um, but I only needed to have about 90 million because I, I was able to do selling of it a little bit and, you know, all that stuff here and there. So, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the what we kept, what we did, how we searched, all of that stuff. I'll give you the quick rundown on it. So, for this, uh, if it'll capture my game here. There we go. I don't know why I was slow. For this, I used my gold fine barbarian. I've got a... I'll put a link to all of his gear and what he's using. He's still not 100% perfected. You can see there's still like, you know, 10% uh, plus one war cry and things. So he's not 100% perfect. But he got about 500,000 gold a trav run. Um, I think nightmare travs would actually be even faster. But there's the game delay right now where it takes a minute between games anyways. And so... For that reason, doing hell, I think, ends up being a similar speed. At the same time, I actually have 400% magic find as well. And so I'm able to get a lot of nice things. Like I was able to find uh, Amaras while I was doing it. I found a pole and a lem. I didn't find any, like, other amazing things with that. Um, you know, just some, like, random jewels. And I think I did find a jeeds while I was doing it as well. Um... Just kind of a, a lot of things. I found a nice charm while I was going through five auras, seven percent gold, uh, things like that. So I did just match find. Like I said, I'll put all of this down there below. And then once I did that, I put on my edge bow for the fifteen percent uh, reduced vendor prices. On top of the fifteen percent I get from my Jeed's charm. And overall, I did that. I went over and I just gambled all coronets that I could find like this um, and you can see it's a hundred ten thousand gold right there for the gamble uh, and just did that over and over and over again probably took in total about six to six hours six to seven hours uh, maybe a little bit more if you count all of the gambling time as well because it does just take a while to gamble a thousand coronets and to find them because even though you can rinse by them as soon as it hits a circlet I go and find another coronet because I wanted to gamble coronets not circlets there um, since I'm only level 88 and for gambling circlets you want to be level 92 I believe uh, but coronets you can be 87 so with that being said um, I did all of that gambling and after a thousand coronets roughly a hundred of them were rare because remember one in ten is going to be rare but magics can still be nice and the final results are, did a drum roll please, eight coronets were kept, um, and many of them kept, didn't even need to be kept. Uh, they were kept purely because I was really not getting a lot of good stuff. And so I was like, I'm going to keep the eight best ones, even if they're char seafood, um, and just for whatever reason. So we can go in order of how I kept them and why they were kept. Uh, this was the first one. I felt like it was decent. It had good dexterity, so a little bit of life, nice resistances, including some high fire res, which is always nice. Um, obviously, missing something like FRW or on it, that would be like really big right there to help out. But uh, I felt like, you know, it's not a terrible circlet. The second one I kept is this one. Uh, pretty trash, but. Two skills, 13 strength, 31 life, 15 all res. It's something that you could put on and wear, and it's okay. Regardless, missing some FCR or something of that nature to really have uh, more value added to it. The third one we kept is pretty straight Charcy Food. Two to Amazon skills with 19 all res, 52 fire res. Um, doesn't really have a lot going for it. But like I said, at this point, I was just like, I just got to keep something, man. I just have no circlets. The fourth one we kept is two to traps, 20 FCR with 24 to life. Um, this is a very, like, small, small chance that I could actually have a good use case for it. But it does have the 20 to FCR and the two to traps and 24 to life. So it's, you know, it has some small thing. Yes, FCR doesn't work for laying traps, 
but it's what you want on your helm. A lot of trapsons will even use like a griffins or something because they want to get the FCR uh, so they can teleport around faster and everything like that. So help you hit a break point. Uh, the next one I kept is a 3 to cold skills, 20 to strength. Um, this is basically 40 to life, right? Because 20 additional strength is 20 more vitality, which is 40 life. Um, not great. Definitely something small. Maybe someone gives you like a lem for it or something like that. Uh, not really a, a big thing right there. But okay. You know, it exists. The one after this is probably my favorite find, um, and this is 3 to summoning skills, 20 FCR. Uh, if I do go and get my Necro, I can show you my plus 3 to PNB skills, 20 FCR. I got two open sockets in it, put two 5-5 uh, five, five poison facets, and that's a best in slot um, helmet for a poison Necro right there. This one right here could still be really nice though for a summon necro because you are going to have your enigma you're going to be teleporting around you want to hit your break points and you want to of course get your plus to skills and if you get two open sockets in this you can shove you know whatever you want in there for you know uh, additional life or resistances or whatever stuff some really nice jewels that you get who knows kind of gives you some options so i actually think this one has a little bit of value is it worth the world no is it okay yeah, I think this is actually okay. And had it rolled maybe a different, you know, plus to skill, it could have been even better. Uh, this next one is probably not great. Um, 2 to Marshall, 20 FCR, 101 attack rating, 31, 30 to strength. Once again, kind of chartsy food. But I thought, hey, you make some sort of fun kicks in uh, casting style character and maybe it's a thing or something. Um... We can just sell this one for sure. And the last one, I actually kind of like. Uh, two to Amazon skills, 30 faster run walk with dual leech on it. So it's missing, you know, some of the other uh, nice to haves for sure. And just has like 170 ED and whatever. But dual leech is actually really solid. Um, especially for Amazons because you're look you're always looking to get it like am I putting it on a ring am I putting it on an amulet you know you're always looking where am I gonna get this mana back and all of this stuff Amazons want to have 30 faster run walk really helps for PvP a lot of times like you know one of the best PvP uh, or Amazon helms could be a 30 faster run walk three open socket you know artisans tiara or whatever. Um, and then they can sock it, you know, whatever stuff in there. They can put their 15 IS jewels and all those things, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this one right here gets you the mana, gets you the fast run walk, and gets you the plus to Amazon skills. So this is actually not a bad uh, tiara overall, right? And you might say, I thought you were gambling coronets, and I was, but coronets can turn into tiaras when you gamble them. Um, and it has a cool name, Armageddon Vale. I mean, that sounds super cool. So... I also love the Golem Lord's Coronet of the Magus. I think that's a pretty sick name as well. So, yeah, I think this right here is another uh, pretty decent one. So, overall, this one, this one are probably the two that are have the most value. Um, and the other six, eh, kind of trash. But, you know, like I say, maybe somebody will give you, like, eh, you know, a lem or something for this because they just want to use it. Plus three cold skills, 20 strength. Like, it's better than what a lot of people have. It's not going to compare to a lot of the things. But, hey, why not? Uh... Regardless, do I think it was worth it getting roughly two out of a thousand circlets? Um, probably not, but it's just so fun, you know? I think that's the biggest thing. It's just fun to go kill stuff, gamble. Like I say, at the same time, you can get things like I picked up a Mars. I think I picked up a Talzami. I picked up nice charms. You know, there's just a lot of that stuff. And then you just go get to go gamble. So you're just doing trav runs, having a good time, and then going and gambling afterwards. Uh, I loved it. I'll probably do another thousand or something like that. Um, and, you know, continue gambling in the future and whatever. But I had a blast. I hope you guys who did get to watch it did enjoy it. And uh, maybe one day we'll hit one of those super godly coordinates. Until then, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Peace.